Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new year. Welcome to a new decade. It is your girl Shanika and in this video, I am going to do a quick get ready with me as I talk to you guys about the, the direction I want my channel to go in 2020, my goals for 2020 with my YouTube channel and all that fun stuff as we do a simple face beat. So don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share this video. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Just some ways that I can improve um, my YouTube channel and be more consistent in the past like I think like in November October when I started you know to come back to YouTube because I took a little break um, but whenever I got back on YouTube I think I had like I want to say probably like 84 um, followers and it was crazy because whenever I started to film again whenever I moved here to um, Nevada as I saw myself becoming more consistent, like with my videos, I noticed myself missing YouTube more. I noticed um, the passion, like the passion never left, but I noticed myself like, you know, needing that mental break from always like recording and working and trying to see exactly, you know, what I can put out to be authentic and what will work for me and you know what you guys would like to see on my channel and I think you know as a new youtuber you get so many ideas from people saying you should do this or you should do that or you're trying to get everyone to um, watch your channel or you know you're promoting your channel and you're constantly um, just putting so much effort into a new channel when you don't even know if anyone will watch so and for me to leave the last decade and for me to be a new youtuber uh, for me to leave 2019 with you know i started with like i ended with like 80 like i said with 83 or 84 and that was me not having a video since like march so for me to be more consistent i saw myself push myself and grow and come up with content and actually find my niche so that for me to end 2019 with over 100 subscribers like that really like blew my mind because it showed me that not only will people watch my channel but if i'm consistent then people will be consistent with watching me so that was like the main thing that i left in 2019 or the main knowledge that i left with youtube is not how to be like someone else or or do other videos like everyone else but just to be consistent with myself and switch it up a little bit and find out exactly what you guys were interested in and how can I um, not just be a makeup channel or not just be a vlog now as far as um, my channel is concerned I need to figure out like a name for you guys you know how like every uh youtuber or content creator has a name for their subbies right so i've just been thinking what can be a good name for my subbies because if i'm going to make sure that i take you know YouTube seriously like I just don't want to come on here like well, which I probably will anyway but hey guys hey guys and I know we say like oh god like that's so annoying how someone just says hey guys hey guys but honestly like I'm trying to see exactly what name I could come up for you guys my subbies my my community like you guys are my family now so welcome to the family because i wouldn't be nothing without you guys watching and i always said that 
I do YouTube because it's fun. Like, I don't take YouTube seriously. Like, I try not to take it so seriously to where, like, I am always just checking the stats or, you know, just trying to see who view. Like, I actually enjoy doing YouTube. I just wish that sometimes I had more time to do it. Um, that's my only problem. But, you know, life happens. And because I move around a lot, it's kind of hard for me to set up somewhere or you know travel with a lot of equipment and I just don't have the capability to have like all this setup and then have to pack my car and move to the next location so I try to be as minimalistic with my filming as I possibly can because I can't have like a big production and still be able to fit shit in my car so like I said before, I will put in more time to my channel to make sure like my editing is better, my light is better, um, just like the little things that will help my channel grow. And if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you just are afraid of what people will say or afraid of what people will think, like let me be your motivation, let me inspire you because when you very first start out YouTube, like, it is not the easiest thing. You're constantly going to grow. You're constantly going to change your content. You're constantly going to change. You're going to constantly look at your stats, see who's viewing, seeing why you don't have um, as many subscribers, comparing yourself um, with other subscribers who probably don't have the best content or don't have the best editing as you. So that's a good and a bad thing to do to, um, you know, just watch other youtubers and see some things that you can do different and see some things that you possibly can change or see some things that you say hey you know what i like how they did that let me find a way to turn it or to make that into my own so if you are you know thinking about starting a channel or um starting you know today or the next six months if that was one of your goals to do in 2020 I would definitely tell you to go for it because it's best. it's crazy because when I started this channel a year ago I really didn't know what to expect like I really didn't know what went into filming I really didn't know everything that went into creating content um, creating just that my, I didn't know how my personality could come through because in real life, my personality is this loud, crazy, um, I just say what the fuck I want, just, just no filter, but still respectful, like, I pretty much, like, get along with, you know, anyone I come in contact with, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty chill, you know, but I think whenever you're filming, you want your personality to come across on YouTube, but you don't want to seem too scripted. Like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shanika. Thank you. So I mean, and it's like, I feel that way whenever I'm talking to you guys, but I don't want to feel scripted. And I feel like whenever I'm doing an Instagram video compared to whenever I'm doing a um, YouTube video with Instagram, I feel like it's a little bit more relaxed um, than YouTube because I have to think about what I'm gonna say. I have to write a lot of things down. Um, the editing, huh, the editing is probably the most time consuming. Um, you definitely want to watch a lot of YouTube channels just so in YouTube videos and how-to videos on how to edit. Um, whether you're editing on your cell phone, whether you're editing on your computer, it's not as easy as you think, but once you start to edit your videos and once you start to see how a whole video comes together, like you'll feel so proud at the end of your tutorial or at the end of your video at the fact that you sat down and you took some time to actually film your YouTube video. Like, I think that was the most proudest moment for me. It only if I had 10 views. I remember watching, I remember filming my first video um, 
last year um why i moved to california and what's next like i was terrified but you have to sort of let all those fears go and just and just be yourself and just talk it's so cliche when someone says oh you know just be yourself but that's absolutely true like because one thing about youtube like you can get all the views in the world and but for someone to hit that subscribe button like they really really rock with you and i get more views than subscribers yes but i really don't care it really doesn't matter to me because even if you don't hit the subscribe the subscribe button like i understand because i don't just subscribe to anyone that i just start watching i want to see exactly what other content that that person may you know come out with before i just say okay i'm going to subscribe to your channel so if you are deciding to start a youtube channel let your main focus be what is it that i am about like why am i starting a youtube um, is it going to come across as authentic, as genuine? Do I have my own content or I'm just going to do the regular pranks and stuff like that, which gets the most views, but how can you be authentic in your own videos? What do you have to gain from YouTube and what do you have to give um, from YouTube? And I feel like over this past year, like I've gained so many loyal viewers and so many loyal subscribers and it just it just makes me feel like great like i can't even like explain to you guys but like i know 2020 my channel i'm gonna make sure that i make it flourish so that is the direction that i'm going with my channel making my channel flourish putting more time and effort um into my channel making sure that i give out good content positive content um, authentic content to you guys and uh, yeah like watching my channel grow and flourish flourish is the word 2009 2020 flourish all right so for the end of December favorites beginning of January favorites we're gonna be using this Mac pencil which is uh, in chestnut yep don't know why I'm just, I was sleeping on this for the last decade and we're gonna do the um, Fenty Beauty gloss and fussy so I'm seriously thinking about a few um, titles for you guys for my community for my gang I was thinking let me see LSG and not the <laughs> and not the damn group but lipstick gang or it could just be girl gang so gg girl gang lsg lipstick gang i think i like lipstick gang hmm. bandit squad but it's funny because i think that i actually like lsg hashtag LSG hashtag lipstick gang that way everything stays consistent and it flows and we are starting out 2020 gang gang lipstick gang l s g l p g lipstick but i did lip then stick then gang so l s g lipstick gang i think that's a good i think we got it all right guys so thank you so much LSG lipstick gang for opening 2020 with me and don't forget to turn on your post notifications bell so you will be notified when another video posts and be a part of the community by hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next 
video. Bye.